to live. Brendan, uh, Ian is waiting on the line for you. Okay. Brendan, hi. It's Ian Stringer up in the commentary box. Congratulations uh, on three goals and three points. Uh, I wonder whether you're happy to start, of course, with um, the only story in town right now. You have a player who's joined the Premier League 100 club. How proud are you tonight of Jamie Vardy for his achievement? Well, it's a phenomenal achievement, Ian, as you say, uh, to come into the, the Premier League at the late stage that he has and, and to be that prolific in such a short period of time is... It's a phenomenal achievement. So no, I'm very, very obviously privileged to work with a with a top striker. And and like you've seen today, it was his speed right at the very end of the game. He's thinking on his movement to get in, and uh, and like I said, he, he he finishes. And and obviously the first goal he's in the box, and and it's been hard for him because he hasn't had too many chances. You know, I had a chat with him yesterday just in terms of uh, just getting back to what he is good at which isn't always scoring goals, but the work rate, uh, because he, he's a player that he really, that there's never a lost cause with Jamie. You know, when he's at his best, he hunts everything down. And uh, I think you've seen that today from him. So uh, now he, he's got over the milestone. It's, it's you know, a, a huge achievement for him and his family. And, and like I said, I think he'll, he'll score, you know, many more goals. So uh, uh, delighted for him and the team. And a real shot in the arm for Jamie, of course, Brendan, but also for you guys as well with, with that goal and, and the win. And, and how hopeful are you that that really lifts the chins that might have been starting to sag somewhat given, given recent results? You know, the three points, but also Vardy getting to the 100 as well. Yeah, I think, listen, it was a real collective effort today. Um, as you said, we haven't uh, in the last few games or since we've come back, we haven't quite got to our fluent best. And listen, we're, we're missing... Again today, some of the really key players, you know, in terms of James Madison, really creative player, Ricardo Pereira, one of the best left backs in, in European football, or right back, sorry. But um, but collectively, we, we've come together to get a result. And um, you know, I thought we we're very worthy of it. We changed the system, but we haven't been creating so much. So we, we changed the system to try and uh, put a bit more risk into it again and, and just to freshen it up. And I thought the players dealt with it very well. On Vardy, uh, finally on Jamie from me. How inspiring is he and do you hope he is for a lot of your young players as well? I know these aren't all strikers and goal scorers, of course, but you know Ben Chilwell, James Madison, James Justin, still very, very young players. And even some of your players in your under-23s and in your academy as well, Brendan. How inspiring could Jamie Vardy be for the future Foxes at the club? Well, he is. I think his story is very unique. Um, you know, you think of... Of, of what he's achieved and what he's done but it's you know if I'm James Justin so if you look at him you know he's come from League One uh, been a part of our squad playing as a cover player now he's thrust into the Premier League and and, and players like Jamie are great inspirations for him so um, now his story and the continual story of Jamie will always be a huge inspiration to uh, not just players at Leicester but of course young players throughout the country so uh so now he's a, he's, he's a wonderful talent and I'm very fortunate. Like I said in the first day when I met him, I'm very fortunate and glad he's here. So, uh, yeah, very good. Uh, when we saw your team use Brendan, we were scratching our heads as to how you might play that and some suggested uh, it may be a diamond or a variation on that. Uh, it seemed to free up uh, defensively, I'm, I'm fascinated in your thoughts as to why you think it worked so well. We we seem to to see Wilfred indeed. He seemed to have a bit more space so that he could cover more ground and kind of own that that part of the pitch. He seemed happier there, and it was interesting as well how the the fullback seemed to be helped by the diamond. I wonder whether you're happy to explain to us why you think that formation change today worked so well. We played three four one two, and it was it was to get. Uh, firstly, defensively, a greater press and a higher pressure up the pitch. You know, with with Jamie and, and obviously putting Kalechi up there with the two. We played Ayo Perez just in behind, and again, it's, it's getting goal scorers into the game. We, we haven't been scoring goals, so that's been the the uh, the issue for us, and and not being anywhere near as creative as what we'd have liked. So we tried to get people that can score goals onto the field. Um, mm -hmm. So with those three up front, obviously wing backs and, and Mark Albright had to fill in as a wing back, but he'd done that marvellously well. And and like you say, James Justin was up against one of the top wingers at this level. And yet again, he's come through defensively brilliant and uh, and 
you know, there wasn't much change out of uh, Wilfred Saha today. So, uh, so yeah. And then playing with three centre, playing with sort of three defensive when Ryan comes in, he's a natural centre half. But um, but James Justin started on that uh, on that right side centre half, and uh, and he worked it very well in both positions he played. So I gave Ben the mm-hmm. chance to get forward that bit more as well, and but still giving us security from behind with the three centre halves and uh, and a defensive midfield player. So listen, it worked well. The, the guys coming into the game done very well. And we we showed real mentality to not concede in and get our goals. Uh, finally, from me, Brendan, and whether you happen to talk injuries, um, James Madison, we know missed the game. Uh, what's the situation with him? And you had Iosi Perez and Ben Chilwell leave the pitch as well today. Wonder whether you're just able to let us know what the situation is with those three players, please. Yeah, I think James will still be a doubt for for Tuesday, but we'll see how he recovers. You know, because he wasn't due to play against Everton, but he'd, he'd come through it and then we were able to get 45 out of him. So so we'll see how that works um, over the next couple of days. Ben has had an issue with his Achilles, so we'll just uh, we'll see how that reacts again in 40 hours. And um, and Io obviously got a knock on his, on his ankle. Uh, so again, we'll, we'll assess when we get in tomorrow morning and, and see how fit they are for, for Tuesday. Thank you for your time, Brendan. Always appreciate it. Cheers. Thanks, Ian. Thank you. Have a to Damesh, Sky Sports News, please. Hi, Brendan. Congratulations. Hi. You talked about um, Jamie Vardy and how late he came into the Premier League and also talked about his speed towards the end of that game. With all of that in mind, how long do you think he can go on for? 33 now, but he's got a few years left in him, do you think? Yeah, there's no doubt. He's, he's obviously not good the same miles on the clock as maybe some other players at, at this level. But you, like I said, you see his fitness, you see his speed, like you said, right at the very end of the game. And not only that, his movement to stay on side, you know, he's still thinking clearly at that time. And, and once he's away, he's away. And it was an absolutely brilliant finish. And um, you know, he's a real catalyst for this team. So, um, listen, you, you know, you look after your body and you prepare well. And it gives you every every chance. It's hard to say how long a player will go on, but um, but for him, he, he's always going to be a threat for us, and I'm obviously delighted to have him. Can you just put into words how how a big a win that was, especially with with United winning today? Did it end up when you reflect on it being a must win game today? Do you think it was very important for us to get back to winning? We, we've we, we obviously have got that one and feeling over this last 14 months or so. So being in, in this little sort of adverse period, it was, um, of course, been, uh, you know, not getting the results. Of course, we're here to win and, and we want to win. But um, but we, we didn't get too emotional about it. We want it to be better. We understand, you know, I never calculated the worth of the, of the players uh, over this last four-game period because we hadn't won. Their talent has taken them to the position that they're in, which no one would have expected us to be there. And it was just a case of just reinforcing what we are good at and what is the basis of our of our work. And then we know that uh, we can win games. So, uh, yeah, and, and they're able to do that. Defensively, very strong again. So kept a clean sheet. And, uh, and I thought we just had a bit more edge to our game in the top end of the pitch. So... Uh, yeah, but winning games gives you confidence, absolutely, no doubt. And this will be a huge confidence push for us now for the remaining games. Cheers, Brendan. Thank you. Does anybody need anything else for tomorrow before we do a brief slot for Mondays? Yeah, can I just ask one question, Brendan? Hi, Craig. Hi. Can you talk about the victory in the context of the, the local lockdown and what that could potentially do for the morale of your fan base at a difficult time for uh, supporters in the city right now? Yeah, and it has been. I think that obviously when you see the rest of the country open up for the, the people of the of Leicester and the borough here, it's of course been been, been very difficult. However, the, the the city takes huge credit because they've they're looking to adhere to that, what the government have asked, and uh, and they'll continue to do that. And obviously if we can give them a boost by by winning a game of football when they're watching, then of course that that's a responsibility that we assume. So um so yeah, it, it's a great tonic for the city, and obviously with five games to go, it puts us in a, in a good position. So hopefully, it, uh, they can enjoy that amidst all the the issues that are on around the country at the moment.